So when I came across this article, I thought this was actually very interesting because now we have legality into the mix when it comes to the whole Sweet Baby Inc. DEI initiatives, all this stuff that's going on in gaming right now. We have an actual legal representative saying that it was his job to get rid of anti-woke gamers and anti-woke people within the industry. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, former Bungie and the Pokemon Company lawyer just admitted to that over on X. Stop the press. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. So it says, former lawyer for Bungie and the Pokemon Company, as well as the producer on Detective uh, Pikachu, Don McGowan, defended Sweet Baby Inc. and admitted his job was to get rid of anti-woke gamers. McGowan made his comments using the X handle legal minimum, but previously identified himself back in September of 2022. Writing, my real name is trivially easy to locate, but just so it's clear, I am Don McGowan. I spent 12 years as the chief legal officer of Pokemon and am now the general counsel on Bungie. McGowan responded to a thread by Kotaku journalist Alyssa Mercante that claims that Sweet Baby Inc. as well as herself are being harassed. Of note, Mercante does not share that Sweet Baby Inc. employees Chris Kindred and Maya Kramer as well as the CEO Kim Blair have launched multiple cancel campaigns against the Steam Curator list and its creator Brazilian gamer Kabrutus Rambo. She also makes no mention of the racist actions of past Sweet Baby Inc. employees or past racist comments made by Kim Blair and also, just to add to this article, past racist comments made by Alyssa Mercante she also has said so many different things on her Twitter that basically is completely anti-white because she's just another white liberal, just like all of these other people in the gaming industry that are virtue signaling right now. Every single one of them, for the most part, are white liberals that feel guilty. I don't know why. I don't know if they have somebody named Tyrone in their basement that's shackled right now and they have their own slave. I'm really not sure, but that's how they act. They act like they have their own slaves or have owned slaves in the past, and now they have to be held accountable for it. It's the weirdest thing. Let's be real, ladies and gentlemen. These white liberals, what it is is that they are heavily racist on the inside. They know that they're racist on the inside. They have found a way to convince non-white people that they are virtuous by reverse racism, essentially. They're trying to convince, hey, maybe if I'm racist to myself, maybe if I'm racist to other white people, then they will allow me to kind of get by on the other little microaggressions or whatever you want to call it that they do to non-white people. Because let's be real, these people are some of the most racist people on the internet or in the world, I should say, by far. So it says, Mercante initially wrote, if you aren't sure this is a harassment campaign, just take a look at the content. Look how many sock puppet accounts flock to comment on posts. Look at the language in these comments. Look at the images they're sharing, the way they're manipulating pictures of women. McGowan uh, reacted to the thread with his own by accusing gamers of being sexist and racist. He wrote, thread, 20 years in games, 17 in the C-suite. So I am well situated to say these people blame me one consultancy for everything they don't like are again demonstrating they know nothing about the subject they purport to be discussing. They're sexist and racist. Whoa, idiot. I'm surprised you're even a lawyer, to be honest with you, because if you were anything close to intelligent, you would realize that people are not just blaming Sweet Baby Inc. People have been complaining about forced DEI initiatives in gaming for years now, almost decades, it feels like at this point. People have been complaining for the longest. Sweet Baby Inc. is only in the headlines because of what happened with Suicide Squad, but ultimately, they're just a dime a dozen of multiple different DEI-focused consultancy firms that are ruining gaming, and these, these uh, studios are heavily focused on using these consultancy consultancy firms to try to make these games more DEI associated or whatever the case may be and add more diversity that was already added by the studio to begin with. These companies exist for a reason, and you know exactly why they exist for a reason. And it's funny, all this stuff is supposed to be organic. This is all supposed to be heavily organic diversity. Oh, it's just happening naturally. It's kumbaya fucking ya. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. Well, it's very interesting that you're going to be so aggressive and so threatening when it comes to something that's supposed to be so organically happening. If people really wanted this to happen organically, why do you need to be so threatening in order to make it happen? It's very interesting to me. But of course, you want to use buzzwords like sexist and racist as if those fucking things mean anything anymore. 
It says next he made the absurd claim that video game developers at large no longer want to make games for gamers. Not only did they make that claim, but he also revealed his entire career has been built around trying to get rid of gamers. He wrote, and it never occurs to them that the reason nobody made games for them was because nobody wants to make those kind of games. Nobody wants your money because nobody wants you in their environment. Take it from someone whose most of his job was figuring out ways to get rid of you. Oh, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. So you don't want money. That's basically it. You don't want money. You got all the money in the world. You don't need to make money with your games at all. You can spend as much money as you want on production and not have to make it back. You don't want the money of gamers. You want the money of who exactly? Who exactly do you want the money for? Because if you're making games in order to see yourselves, are you also going to pay yourselves? Like, is that is that how this is going to work? Are you going to buy your own games and pay yourselves? I, I don't think that's going to last very long. I don't think that's going to go very far as a business model. Let's be real. So if gamers aren't your targeted audience, then who exactly is your targeted audience? You're, you're, you're targeting a very small percentage of the population. So after a while, you got to realize that, number one, most of those people in that small percentage of the population don't play your games. They don't buy your games. They don't spend money on your games. So I don't really know who you're trying to virtue signal to right now and trying to sell your game to. It says trust and safety departments exist to get assholes out of the gaming environment. Well, clearly it didn't work because you're still there. He continued, you end up creating them to get rid of assholes because adult humans don't want to spend their leisure time with assholes. You're a gamer gator. Fuck off, you goddamn child. Nobody wants your money. Go spend it on anime porn. Ah, of course. Got to throw in that anime porn thing. You guys, you know what's funny? These are the people who hate when you label them, right? When you label them and you and you stereotype them and whatnot, they hate it. And yet, it's perfectly fine for them to stereotype the average gamer. Really? You're going to talk about anime porn? Seriously? When you have a headline that says, trans kids are not a threat, leave them alone? Really? You fucking groomer? Like, that's what you want to do, you asshole? It's amazing to me that someone like this, who is perfectly okay with indoctrinating children, who's perfectly okay with transing them... You want to talk about you're the most virtuous one, that everything okay is okay with you, but something's wrong with gamers. Okay, that's very interesting. McGowan then took a shot at former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern via X user Rami Ismail. Ismail is a Muslim activist and a co-founder of Vlambeer that has produced a mobile game Ridiculous Fishing, Love Trousers, and Nuclear Throne. Ismail wrote, so the Gamergate X uh, dev Grifter is back. Claiming shit about forced diversity leading to funding, and let me tell you, not even once in my life have I worked on or with any other title that has an easier time getting funded because it was different, diverse, inclusive, or equitable. McGowan responded, as always, Rami Ismail has nailed it. Yeah, just because you have it doesn't mean it's not in the mainstream. You work on mobile games, my bruh. Okay, you work on mobile games. You're not exactly making AAA titles that have a mass appeal. So let's sit the fuck down for a second and realize... Next, he posted, by the way, if you're fucking crying about the fact that I'm telling you to eat shit, think about why you're such a person that the producer of Detective Pikachu thinks you are human garbage and maybe work on being less shitty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. The producer of Detective Pikachu, that's a massive title that you want to swing your dick around. Oh, the producer of Detective Pikachu. Now that he has spoken, clearly we need to just kneel, bow before our master, the Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu producer. Let's just bow before our master, ladies. Okay, go fuck yourself. All right, because at the end of the day, you may be a producer on Detective Pikachu, but you also clearly like fucking around with kids if you like transing them and turning them into your little puppets. So get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. Nobody gives a shit. It says he continued, you complain about bubbles, but you're living in the biggest one. You live in an echo chamber. What are you talking about? You literally said your entire job was to get rid of anti-woke gamers. Thus, that means that you are only purposefully surrounding yourself with people who think like you. Woke gamers, that's what you want. You are surrounding yourself in an echo chamber. You have no right to tell someone else that they are in an echo chamber when you just fucking said your job is to get rid of people who disagree with you. You fucking idiot. Then it says you dorks sit around self-reinforcing that you're somehow not human garbage. Get your moms to give you more allowance and buy a clue. Oh, man. What did you What did you open up a fucking book of third grade insults and you finally discovered it and decided to use it all at once? Like, who are you? This guy swears that he's top dog shit producer of Detective Pikachu. Oh, you're amazing, man, for being a Detective Pikachu producer. And yet you're over here literally using third grade insults that I was using for decades before. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. I have to say I'm almost impressed with the one person who quote tweeted the original tweet and also screenshotted it in case I blocked him so he could have forever proof that he is a dork and no one intelligent agrees with him, he wrote. I mean, I still blocked him because dork. Oh, wow. 
This guy is just full with all the kind of insults that you can imagine this kind of loser will be filled with. And honestly, he is not worth any more discussion than this video. So ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, again, like I say in every single one of my videos, these people hate you. I don't know who they're making their games for. I don't know what their plan is financially and business wise. It doesn't really seem like it's going to go very far. But ultimately, this guy and the title for his Twitter is all I need to know about what kind of person he is. If you enjoy making kids trans, you are fucked in the head and you have everything coming to you eventually. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.